Hey guys, 420 Cian here. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I hope everyone watching is having themselves a super fire, super fly stony day. Let me know what you're token on and where you watch the video from. I always like to know. Should have dropped that fat like, subscribe, and if you want access to all my secret unlisted videos, get access to our super fire VIP Discord community, smoke sesh live streams, or if you want to guess on one-on-one -on -one grow help, totally check us out on Patreon. I'm gonna have the link in the upper right hand corner over here. Today I want to be talking about sugar leaves because I don't think I've mentioned it before and I've had a few people ask if I could make a video talking about sugar leaves. Now you guys remember the sour diesel being the harvest video that I came out with like a while back? Well check this out real quick. Can you guess what this is? Do you have any idea at all what you're looking at? That is all the sugar that I collected from the sugar leaves when I was trimming. I have a trim bin and I recommend anybody to get one. This is what it looks like when you take a jeweler's loop up close. I mean how is that not not delicious. It looks like frosted sugar. What I did with mine was I mixed it with my Keef and hit my roar 15 inch straight shot and one big rip and I was 11 out of 10 baked. Straight and dead ass, bro. Also, real quick, if you have not checked out the second episode of our Grow and Joe vlogs, it's on the front page of our channel. We have our own Grow and Joe playlist on, you know, in the playlist tab. And also be sure to check out our Amazon storefront if you want to grow with a lot of the equipment that I use. I have an entire list you can check out. And also if you want to follow along with my grows, be sure to check us out on Instagram. My online handle is going to be right here down below. And also check us out on Grow Diaries. The link is going to be right down below in the pin message. You might have to expand the pin message if you want to get all the links, just saying. Now, if you're new at this whole thing and you're just not sure what sugar leaves are, when you start getting into the flowering stage and you start producing flowers, those are the leaves that have all the frost on them. And they're usually going to look a lot smaller sticking out of your flowers. Like it's, it's pretty much not going to be those big fan leaves. Now, the reason we like sugar leaves so much is completely different on why your ladies produce them. For them, it's more about protection. It helps give uniformity to your flowers. Like it tightens up a little bit extra, but they use it for UV protection. That's essentially why your ladies are super sticky the way they are. It's like a defense feature that they have, like turtles in their shells, bears with their claws, or your mom with the frying pan. Your sugar leaves can turn yellow or brown depending on what's going on. So before you freak the fuck out, let me just tell you this. You need to calm down. If you're towards the end of flowering and your sugar leaves start to yellow out, it's just a fade out and I wouldn't worry about it too much. But if they start turning brown, it's either, it could be a multitude of things. It can either be nutrient burn, it can be light burn or CalMag deficiency. And I generally don't like saying CalMag together for beginners watching because even though calcium and magnesium, they do have a symbiotic relationship. I feel like a lot of beginners have this tendency of always associating them together, but sometimes you can have just a straight up calcium deficiency and not a magnesium deficiency or the other way around you could have a mag deficiency and not have a calcium deficiency so that's why I try not to group them together in my videos when I talk about them individually but you can get both which is why I'm mentioning CalMag I just don't want you guys to get it confused you can have a CalMag deficiency of it being both a calcium and magnesium deficiency but what I'm saying is they both look different like calcium deficiency is got those classic rust spots whereas magnesium deficiency they start like yellowing around the veins so that's what I'm saying I don't want you guys to get confused Confused thinking, you know, you need to, if you fix one, you have to fix the other. So here's the thing though, a lot of people already know that during flowering, it's important to have a good level of phosphorus and potassium. I mean, just think of PK boosters. You're boosting your phosphorus and potassium levels. But what some people might not even realize is magnesium is equally important in flowering because it helps activate your enzymes and it helps keep up with your chlorophyll. So look at it this way. If you do have magnesium deficiency, you have a shortage of chlorophyll, which means stunted growth, which means a smaller yield, which means you're pissed. So be sure to keep up with your mag levels in flowering. Be careful when you feed in flowering. You don't want them to go hungry, but you don't want to get nutrient burn either. And then, you know, your flower stacking progression stops. Like that sucks. I mean, let's be real. Who the fuck wants that, huh? Another thing to be careful is if your sugar leaf tips are pointed up, that means light stress, which means your lights are too close. And no, do not, all right? Do not, I repeat, do not get light stress confused with heat stress. They are two completely different things. They have two completely different different signs. Light stress is when your leaf tips, they're going to start kind of going upward this way. They almost go. You ever see those like uh, those elf pointed toe shoes? You know how the end kind of goes upward like that? So that's kind of what it looks like, sort of, kind of. But when you have heat stress, your leaf edges are going to curl upward, almost like a boat. That's the best way. Or like a canoe, you can look at it that way. So there is a difference. You can also take your sugar leaves and make butter out of it, but make sure to decarb your sugar leaves and then you can infuse them with the butter. Like if you have a magic butter maker, 
Don't be like one of those dudes I've seen on the internet a long time ago. I, I swear, I wish I could find this video, man, but someone took a bunch of branches and stems and they threw it in a pot with butter with some flowers and they called it a day. I'm telling you right now, that's not the way. Do not be that guy. End of the day, you don't want to be wasting your sugar leaves. If anything, you could just collect it and add it to your Keef collection. Just invest in a trim band. It's like $35 to $50, depending on like where you get it. And you're going to have it forever. I think I saw it online. It, it usually averages about, it's mostly like $35, but I don't know. It really depends on where you go, honestly. They're made extremely durable. And I also have the same trim bin that I use. It's in my Amazon storefront. So the link to that is going to be in the pin message right down below with anything else that you might want to grab over at the storefront. Make sure to check out the pin comment and expand it so you can see all the links that I have. Before we close out today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. And for only $11.99 a month, you get access to our VIP Discord community, a whole bunch of exclusive grow and smoke videos, one-on-one -on -one grow help, live streams, and a lot of other really cool stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check it out. I'm going to have the link in the pin message right down below, and it's going to be at the beginning of the video as well. And to everyone else, be sure to sub, mash that like button, and subscribe. And most importantly, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. And as always, stay safe. Peace.